Hello everyone, I'm James from Dinstar. Today I will show you how to use our Dinstar MTG or Digital Gateway to connect to your PI or SSM or R2 and with your IPvX. Here we can see the diagram. If you have an IPvX software based or hardware based IPvX, under the IPvX you got extension effects and the maybe traditional FXS, uh, FXS port and so on. So it doesn't matter. And if you want to make incoming call, going call by PI, SSM or R2, you have to install them or buy the MTG or digital gateway here. And uh, our, your PBS will connect to your MTG by ship truck. After then, your PBS will you can make incoming call, going call to service provider, which provide the PI, SSM or R2. After that, service provider maybe call your a customer or other uh, other numbers and so on. So this is the topology we will configure. Uh, if you want to connect to digital gateway, you have to uh, end the PBS as I said before. Um, here we, we can use our uh, digital gateway MTG with maybe two different PBS or servers to make income here or going call for loop testing. And uh, uh, from the another extension, call the TG after then forward to other PBS and the other extensions. So we got a lot of the documentation here. Um, if you are interested in that, you always can refer this website to get the more detail about this. Okay. Let's uh, start the configuration. Before I start, I think uh, everyone should know that what's a PI, what's a S7, and uh, what's R2. Actually, in the, in the most of the uh, industry, uh, many people or enterprise level people use the PI for the connect to the your PBS or call center solutions. So S7 also use that, but R2. Uh, so far, there is no more people use it. So here we just uh, use SS7 as a uh, uh, demo purpose and teach you how to configure that and uh, make income call and outgoing call. So in this section, in, in this tutorial, I will give you the uh, detail about the how to configure PI to make a uh, call to the IPBX. So there are few steps to go to. The first step, you have to go to the PI, and uh, here we can see that the, the PI. If you go to the PI, you always can see that, and uh, make sure you adjust a uh, uh, set for your service provider. I mean, the, you have to check with the service provider. Make sure that your calling party uh, and the call party number dial plan is correct. Okay, make sure that. And uh, if sometimes not correct, I cannot make an outgoing call. Here I maybe use ISDN, telephone number plan. And uh, call party, I use this one also. Here you, ha you have to see that, you, I think you must understand that uh, if you use the PI, I think the one side is for uh, user side, another side is for network side. So. Because here, since we, we use the loop test, so we have to set, uh, set the, the, the port differently, okay? So here we can see that the first one, I use ISDN protocol, ISDN has Swiss model, Swiss side, I use the user side, okay? We have always used uh, user side because we just loop test. We have to enable the D channel, start the channel ID and so on. And the second one, please make sure I here I use the port zero to port one with a loop test. So in the port zero, I set user side. In port one, I set to network side. So here we can see that it's a network side. It's quite different already. It's opposite. Okay. And uh, to do so, then your your PBI, your E one will be able to uh, up. Other thing is uh, you also have to check here and uh, make sure you set maybe if you want to, for example, T1, E1, you want to support E1 or T1, you, you always can modify here. For example, I use the port 0 and uh, I start step port 0 already. I use the E1, you select E1. If you use the T1, you select T1. 
Please make sure you check your uh, your service provider. I think it's quite different from the service provider or other uh, countries. So some country use a T1, some country use a E1. So before you start your uh, gateway, make sure you check your T1 or you support T1 or E1 cannot be uh, different. Okay, make sure your service provider side support the same models. Yeah. You can see here we select the E1 and the select A law and CRC. Of course, you have you you can see that no CRC or CRC must enable that. And the other side, I also use the E1. The port zero one is use E1. The same thing. Make sure you select the correct value here. So after then, you set you set up the port and you also have to set the the clocks source. Make sure clock source you, you maybe you 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 retrieve your clock source from remote site, and then here I use the clock source zero as a port number. Okay, you can you have to set the zip trunk first. I create the two zip trunk because we if you if we if we refer here for testing purpose, I always connect to the two IPBS break the two trunk here. Okay, and. Uh, you can see this is a you see this is a trunk number you see ipvx number a port and uh, udp zip port number and so on you're feeling the all the things after then you have to config your core routing core routing in terms like uh, a core control for example from ps10 you have to connect to a uh, configure ps10 to ip ps10 ip here is from the, the call from i think you can refer this one is outside people call to service provider after and call to MTG and call to PSD. Here means the PSD and the to PBS. So it's the same thing here from here. The port zero to, to UC after then port one to other UC because since here we use loop test, so it's a cycle. Okay, so it's a cycle already. So from here we can see the, the, the all the things that port zero then use the port chunk. Trunk number is zero. Okay, then point to UC, the first UC here. After that, I think the other one is, um, is the same thing. It's something like the your PBS make outgoing call. Okay, you have to use the maybe, for example, like uh, this one. Uh, UC PBS, PBS to TG means like PBS to our MTG or TDM or our PSD. Okay, here we can see the zip trunk, and uh, I use the uh, port zero, port one as a PSD outgoing call port. Okay, so after that, the IP and the PSD to IP, IP to PSD will done. So if you see the after set up everything you always have to check okay make sure everything is done properly and uh, your configurations e1 t1 or pi is up and active so so again here we can see uh, port name zero and port one is active in the green color means like uh, here active already and uh, without any alarm, any error message here. And uh, especially you can see here from the T1 even channel stator, you also have to check here. And uh, please make sure you can see here, the channel start number is zero and zip port one. So we can see this here is free, is send, send and uh, receive there already. And uh, since we use the uh, channel 16 as a signaling channel, so here, you can see the color is different, okay? So signaling, color, quality, and uh, other channels, data channels, means like uh, your call is sent by those data channels. So, so here we can see the channels idle already. Of course, later if you make a calls, then uh, I think will be the one channel, one of the channel will be occupied and uh, under the port zero and port one. So um, later you will see the different here. So far start now and uh, your E1 is set up ready and uh, your uh, zip trunk also established. Everything looks okay. After then you can make a call, make a call, incoming call, going call from PBS to test that. Okay, so this is a 
all the process for the PI setup. Of course, if you use the SS7, you also have to set up the SS7, okay? SS7 is uh, different, quite different. So maybe later you can see here, you can you have to end the OPC, DPC and so on. So make sure you connect to your, uh, contact your service provider, uh, got the OPC and DPC code and uh, finish that. So make sure everything is done and the app active so you can use the SSM. Of course, R2 is also another one we can support. Uh, same procedure, you also have to check the, the, the parameters and the chunks, make sure everything is done and set up that properly and you can make a course. So this is the whole process for the PI setup. And in next session, I will teach you how to, I maybe show you how to make incoming call or going call by the PBS. And at the same time, we can see the, all the traffic from the PI call report and the SIP call report and so on. So this is a whole tutorial for the how to set up PIs. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.